Hey guys, welcome, welcome, welcome. Close to my Virgos. My Virgos, my Virgos. Um, this is going to be your overall energy for January 2020. Okay, this is going to be the first, for the first half of 2020. No, January 2020. You're like, Jesus, six months court. <laughs> um, for some reason, this is the first time I mentioned the 2020 calendar in, in the personals. So there might be something in that 2020 calendar um, that's available. Just scroll down on the page. It will say 2020 calendar now available. Um, FYI, it is the price is 2020. You can go into the description box below. It say to benefit our channel, and you can access it there, and I will send it to you. There, there's got to be something there for for someone. Okay. Um, the first six months is pretty important. There's got to be some type of development for you guys, okay? But this is for January 2020, this year overall. I did see the chariot and wanted me to definitely point it out. So, my very goes, my very goes. 2020, January overall energy to be aware of. This is kind of what spirit wants you to know what's going on, what's important. balance it's important to have balance you might be working multiple jobs projects all at once whatever you're doing in your life right now make it fun at the bottom of the deck you have a change of your life a sudden revolution revelation that offers freedom a break free from procrastination embrace the opportunities that change is bringing so it's real important for that mind, body, and soul right now, okay? Whatever it is, just try to try to have fun with it. See the possibilities in something. This is life-altering energy, which I guess makes complete sense on why it talked about the 2020 calendar because within that calendar, the way I did it, um, it is, it's pretty amazing the way it's laid out, challenges, what's coming. Okay, so that's going to be extremely beneficial for, for some of you right now, okay? So, this is fantastic. You ask for new, you're getting it. Here's your, here's your shift of life. So, first two weeks of January 2020 for my Capricorns. My Virgos, sorry, I might be dealing with Capis. My Virgos, my Virgos. Yeah, about to, to have a break. I don't know if you had a, a tower moment. Uh, it is like, whoa, energy. Your life is about to shift. It's fantastic. the seven of acorns which is the seven of wands stay determined push through talks about stamina there's some there's something infinite here um this is kind of like whoa energy stay focused there's some type of insight Something's coming at you. You're going to see the results of something. You got the Seven of Swords here too. But this is about options. What do you want to do? How do you want to fix? How do you want to balance? How do you want to... <sighs> you got two Sevens. You got a new direction. You got a new path. This is the two of wands. 
we knew that, but it's like you're stuck, you're, you're comfortable, but you're not happy. You gotta push through. It's like, there's a whole new world out there for you. You got the Queen of Wands right here. So there's, there's something. That song just came to me. There's some type of wonderful. Or you're some type of wonderful, yes she is, or yes you are. I, I don't know that song. Some type of wonderful, some type of beautiful, I, I don't know. You're going right towards fire energy. You're going right towards passion. Someone or passion. Could you have lied to Queen of Wands? I don't know. Tell me about the seven of acorn. Seven of pence, please. You definitely have an opportunity to go in a new direction. It's just a matter if you stick to it and you go after it. Queen of crystals. So you got two queens. Looks like you're leaving a situation could be a fire sign or it's just you don't want to deal with that it's see what i'm saying it's it's that comfort like you're com you're comfortable right now prosperity there could be money involved especially with the seven of pence like you've already invested time into someone but you have an opportunity to go in a new direction there must have been some type of third party some type of deception something but you're seeing the results of something that's a lot of passion you know you can have a brand new start with somebody it's just a matter of leaving the past behind to me you're still in it but it's like, whoa, it's almost like an epiphany. Because to me, you're leaving this situation, whatever this is regarding. Tell me about the two of wands. Yeah, ten of swords. I mean, the ten of pence. You're questioning stability because to me you already have it but you're seeking something else you're seeking that passion that creativity there's a need to change your life now there's some type of purpose here too it's an end of of something you got two tens tell me about this ten of crystals because this to me is an ending of family life or not security um, it's more like you're going to self-sabotage your own life or situation. Yeah, see, it's you're walking away from this. You're walking away from her or him going towards a new her or him or just passion. I don't know if there's somebody dictating your life right now, but you should be the only one dictating your life. Tell me about the seven of wands. I mean the seven of... Okay, so that's the seven of earth. This was the seven of acorns, which is the seven of wands. You might have said seven of swords sir, earlier, sorry. You got three sevens on the board though. Seven, seven, seven. Oh, look at that. And I pulled that out and it was a seven. Holy shit. But I meant to pull that, which is a seven. So you got two sevens here, two sevens here. I think you're seeing 77 a lot. It's driving you nuts. I don't know why. But you're on a, 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 new, a new quest. It's like you're blocking your energy from something. Or you, it's like you are comfortable in a in a certain certain situation, ship, but like, it's not it's not your happiness. You're contemplating whether or not to invest your time somewhere else for sure. It's not about the seven of pence. <laughs> Two 
to Two of Pence, which is right here too. Talks about adapting. I feel like it's trying to come up with some type of new strategy. Tell me about the Queen of Acorns, which is the Queen of Wands. Way too many. Well, this is you being extremely guarded with this new direction. But if you if you find happiness balance, if you know you can create, what they're saying is do your best to adapt because there's a beautiful new opportunity. You could be dealing with somebody who has children, but this is going to bring happiness. Got the ace of pence at the bottom of the door. It could be material at the bottom of the door. What? At the bottom of the deck. <laughs> Which to me is saying you got a new door. I see a new door opening. And it has to do with time, money. Because the ace of pence with the empress is, is money. You're definitely reviewing. where you want to invest your time. Very masculine energy I'm feeling here. So I don't know if I'm feeling definitely feeling pride, but it's not it's not overwhelming. It's not stopping. It looks like you're going. Look at like going, going, going. The past is the past. Everything is moving forward. There was another energy that we had that was all moving forward. Stay focused on the future. Stay focused on passion. I don't know if you're questioning whether or not you can adapt to your new surroundings. I don't see sudden energy here, but this talks about sudden energy. You, you've been contemplating for a while on whether or not to go in a new direction. But there's something toxic. And I'm not saying it's, it's her. I can feel it. It's whatever your thoughts. I forget what I just did. The sign I just did was talking about embracing... I think it was Capricorn. I think I called you guys Cappy in the beginning, but this is a sudden sense of freedom breaking free from feeling restricted. And I don't even see restricted here. So it's like a sudden change. So it, it's almost like, it, it's like surprise. Additional information for my Virgos. You got the King of Feathers, which is the King of Swords. The bottom of the deck, you got the Knight of Acorns. So you are going to take action. You're just thinking very logically right now. Looks like you're leaving something to go in a brand new direction that's ultimately going to change your life. If you are women, you could be dealing with fire or air. Or Capricorn. I feel like there's some type of strategy here. I don't know if I mentioned that earlier. So it's almost like you have an opportunity right in front of you. Embrace it. Go after it. 
It's like, whoa, all of a sudden, and then someone takes action. I clarified the Empress in it, it's the Hermit. So this Empress is, is contemplating something, Empress type energy. She could be secluding herself from you right now. You could be dealing with a, a, a Taurus, a, a Libra, a Sag, I mean they're all here. Or you're contemplating this one, but stop contemplating. Go after it. If there's an opportunity in front of you, embrace it. Love you guys. <laughs>